Hello, Taurus, Gemini Cusp. Welcome to my channel. I am Tierica. I am all about love here on my channel, you all. How are you all doing? Uh, hopefully, you all are just um, loving yourself, loving what you're choosing to do in life, loving your family, loving just every part of uh, the day that you have the opportunity to create for yourself okay Taurus Gemini cusp uh, we're going to look into the energy that is surrounding you in love um, these messages they are meant here to help promote growth in within you so therefore you can promote growth or um, you start to move towards um, being in more uh, a more healthy connection when it comes to love, okay. All right, Taurus Gemini Cusp. These are my Tiaka Love candles, handmade by me. All right, uh, these scents they smell so lovely, you all. They smell so beautiful. If you would like to purchase a candle. Uh, you can check the description box below. You all can email me. My email is there. Um, go check. I have an Etsy shop as well. Uh, yeah. So, try it out, y'all. You won't be disappointed. My candles are meant to satisfy you in at least uh, to satisfy in multiple ways. Okay. All right. The product is soy wax that is going to provide clear, crisp, clean uh, burn here. The fragrance is very lovely. All right. Um, me mixing and putting my hand, my love, my prayer into the prayers. I mean, into the candles is going to uplift you, uh, give you positivity, give you a lot of great energy. Okay. Try it out, y'all. All right. Taurus Gemini Cusp. Enough about me. Let's take a look and see all right please know that these messages may or may not resonate with all of you beautiful individuals if you find the messages here that resonate please feel free to take them with you if you find messages here that does not resonate with you at all then please do leave them here on the table by my lovely candles and allow someone to pick them up that they will resonate with okay all right so towards gemini cuz who are you in your love connection? What are your characteristics um, when you in love? Okay. So first one out, you got the achiever. All right. So you all go after what you want. Okay. You are one that focus on achieving your certain goals. Okay. Let's see. You could be the one in your connections that pull most of the weight here as well with the achiever. Okay. You got caregiver here. All right. So Taurus Gemini because you all are very nurturing. Um, some of a lot of you all could like animals. All right. But you're very caring. You're very nurturing. And people come to you for for your nurturing and compassionate um, energy here, okay? All right, you got Aquarius here, okay? So you could be with this Aquarius, you could have Aquarius in your chart, or you could be one that really thinks outside of the box here. And maybe you don't offer your love to just anyone, okay? You're very selective when it comes to who you're choosing to give your love time and attention to all right maybe give them a slight attention here but um i'm getting it's not easy for you to offer your love to people okay so let's look at your views on love Taurus gemini cuss all right so here your views on love maybe this this energy here this masculine energy it's Kind of alone energy here. Um, he's by himself watching TV, relaxing, chilling. It's like, uh, I don't want to be bothered here. It's like, I just want to relax, chill, be in my own space here, and just do what I enjoy doing. Okay, so your views on love. Um, I don't see anyone here 
with the masculine um yeah energy so maybe you feel like there's a lot of uh, time spent alone when in these connections okay it's how you're viewing it all right okay so you have this mouth here that is seems to be yelling highly um so there could be a lot of confusion or your views on love you just see a romantic connection as something that causes a lot of confusion here all right um and one more okay so you see your views on love with this here this is giving me like a date night this is giving me like wanting to spend some time here with your person wanting to your views on love you want someone that you can connect with that you can go out have fun uh, with here okay uh, someone that is going to share your same interests all right and let's keep going how do you feel about love towards Gemini how do you feel about love at this time towards Gemini cuz feeling towards love All right, you have confidence here. It comes with time and practice. All right, so you could be your feelings towards love here. Uh, there's some type of lack of confidence that you have when it comes to romantic connections here. That's going to come with time and practice. You have to believe in yourself. You have to just build up self-confidence. And, you know, if... if there's rejection that comes or if there's some things you know that's going on within that is holding you back you just have to move past that it's like brush your shoulders off build yourself up know that through trials and tribulations once you get through it makes you stronger so this helps build confidence the things that you go through if you analyze and you um, learn from the past and incorporate what you have learned towards you moving forward then this could also help build a confidence okay now let's see what is holding you back from moving forward in your love connection towards Gemini what is holding you back from moving forward in your connection All right, balance. So the lack of balance, okay? Um, spiritual balance here, okay? Also, uh, lack of wisdom, all right? Okay, so you have to go in to see what do you feel in your heart because with this green here in the chakra wisdom deck, this is the emotions here. So... There needs to be a balance of your emotions, a spiritual balance within as well. And this will help you to become, you know, uh, more knowledgeable or wiser when it comes to making decisions. Um, when it comes to you making decisions in your connections and in these decisions are based on who you are wanting to grow and connect with okay because you could be choosing people that also is not spiritually balanced here all right there's a lot of um anger and resentment here okay so you want to heal all right now let's look at your desires towards gemini cuz what are you desiring when it comes to love you got the world here capricorn energy you're desiring to end old cycles when it comes to love you are desiring to feel complete desiring to feel a wholeness within your connections okay let's see 
All right, you got the tower here, Aries energy. So you are desiring for sudden changes. Maybe um, this too is also saying just desiring for old cycles to end, you know, desiring for like a spiritual awakening. So you could start to build here something that is going to be worth having, okay? You are desiring for this Knight of Cups is an invitation of uh, romance. You're desiring for someone to kind of come in and be able to sweep you off your feet here. This um, water energy here, Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer, um, Pisces to be exact with the Knight of Cups. Uh, but you're desiring for someone who is going to actually be able to love you in the ways that you feel you deserve to be loved, okay? So let's look at how do you heal from your past connections. First, you're going to cusp how do they heal from past connections. You got recognition and reward here. Okay, so I'm getting with this. You walk into these new uh, connections with your head high. Okay, you know who you are. You know your worth as you move forward. Okay, know that you have what it takes to grow what you're wanting to grow in your connections. Okay. You got rejoice and celebration. So how do you heal? Is um, you don't be a part of third party situations here with this three, uh, with this three hands. It's like the three of cups. Also, three of cups is being open and ready to. It's like celebrate something new. Okay. So if your intentions, how do you heal? You just put the intention out there. You just know what you want. And you be open and positive and happy towards you building what you're wanting in your connections. Okay. Now let's look at some quotes and phrases. Or let's get some quotes and phrases for you. Towards Gemini Cuz. These are meant to help promote growth. Within and your connections. That's two. We just want one because it's a lot going here. Okay. All right. So we're going to go through these here. Uh, sometimes women unconsciously choose tough and aggressive men because affection and care seem suspicious and undeserved to them. All right. So. You don't want to deal with someone that is is that that don't have a conscience here, okay? That is very tough and aggressive because there is no compassion, um, there is no no nurturing that will come from that individual. All right, pay attention to what you compare, okay? Practice consciousness, all right? Learn to care about yourself. Take time to rest. Pay attention to feelings. Present self gifts. All right. Now, calmness, energy, acceptance, support, empathy, and response. You have to be calm. Have calm. Be calm. Um, accept. You know things or not like that. It's like uh, it's like acceptance. You know, things happen for a reason. That's what that that is saying. Okay. Um, support, empathy, and response. Those are just words that will that that will help you to continue to move forward in a positive way. Okay. All right. Only a person choose how to respond to um, provocation. Okay. All right, a partner is neither a slave nor a life 
view your, I don't know, a life savior, savior, I guess, okay? <laughs> uh, okay. And learn to care about yourself. Take time to rest. Pay attention to feel. Oh, we already read that. All right, Taurus Gemini, because my bad. The ending was kind of, it's okay. All right. Hopefully these messages will be helpful. These videos are a little, a little draining. Me trying to really tap into you all's uh, love energy and trying to help. I do get a little draining, but hopefully they will be helpful. I salute the divinity in you all. I am sending you all so much love, so much light, so much positivity. Y'all, um, I love you all so much. I will see you next time. Okay, bye.